Uh, do we like drop? Do we I like drop. I like drop. That's a, that's yeah. a good one. Forever, 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 forever. Let's go. Yeah, this time I want forever, forever, forever. Yeah. Beautiful sunny day in Texas. It's a uh, Tuesday, March 23rd. Uh, I'm on my way to campus. Uh, Kaylee and I are going to be passing out shirts for our organization and it uh, should be fun. We'll be able to see a couple of members. I'll see y'all right over there. Hey Mark. Is it Andrew? Yep. Nice to meet you. If not, you're good. It looks better. Yeah, I think I'll go for That one I could like you put on your laptop or anything. But you, whatever you're feeling. Can I take multiple? Okay. Sure. Yeah, go I for mean, it. We have I mean, I don't like, stock anyway. Literally no one's <laughs> <laughs> Hey, what's your name? Victor. Victor Mark. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. All right. See you later. Yeah. These are all the shirts we have for our organization. They just came in today and we're just giving them out. I say hi to Kaylee. Hi. Yeah. So, <laughs> Kaylee's our treasurer for our organization. She's really great at putting everything together, uh, making sure we're all organized with everything. And yeah, she's pretty much helping us out with a lot of things. So we're, we're out here hanging out at Willis Library, bringing out all the shirts and meeting new members and everything. So it should be very eventful. We'll see how it goes. You are in a white medium, right? Yeah. Perfect. Okay, how does this look? Just in case. And I'm also giving out stickers today. Mm -hmm. I've got more in here, but... It looks like a men's school mess. Oh my goodness. <laughs> if your notes don't look like that, you don't deserve to get a 4.0. <laughs> These I actually was able to design myself with the help of all the exec and I'm really, I'm really excited about yes. how they turned out. You want to eat the medically dedicated way. Do you know who made that slogan? Was that Priya? Or was uh, that no, you? That was me. <laughs> it was you. It's crazy how like we just work all together where I'm like, where are these ideas coming from? Right. But it could be coming from any of us. We all have good ideas. Yeah. <laughs> I love these white ones too because they have more of that gradient. It's going yeah. that way. And we came up with like this new logo this year, right? So it was pretty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was actually, I'm wearing one of the old ones. It was just basic. But pretty much for those who don't know, MDSO stands for Medically Dedicated Student Organization. It's pretty much a community for all pre-health students over at UNT. We like to just offer our resources, offer our knowledge to those who are planning to apply to like a graduate health school, like med school, PA school, so on like that. So yeah. I think I got one of my, my brother has this at home. Still need, I'll probably cop one of these next year. Uh, but I do have the one Kaylee's wearing right now. And I'll probably snag this as well. I really like this one actually. Um, yeah, so, uh, and we have graduation cords that we saw earlier. So um, I believe it's 60 points, 60 uh, member points that they need to get to uh, get their graduation cord. Um, I think we were discussing on uh, like those seniors who just uh, joined in on our organization that didn't have enough time to do get enough semester points that they can do some sort of activity on the final like, meeting and they'll be able to get one of these and walk, hopefully walk in uh, and graduation with these so I'm loving it so far. How about you Kaylee? I'm loving it I'm too. Loving, I'm loving I'm it. So I'm loving excited. it. So. <laughs> I think we're, we're doing amazing and we're making differences. Yeah. We've never done some of the stuff that we were right. Um, in other years. Over, so. We had this whole thing with in the fall where we had like 80 like people in our group chat and now it's like over 200. Yeah, that was pretty it is. amazing. <laughs> wow. It's the Forest app. It's only like two dollars and stuff, but I've been uh, studying maybe eight hours a day, and this is the only thing that will like keep it's me it's going. Timer. You can do like Pomodoro. Mm -hmm. or you can make a tree or some plants or some fruit. It's cute. But you can also hook it up to like everyone else's forest app so that you can hold each other accountable for studying. <laughs> and so if somebody leaves and then they go on social media, it kills everyone's tree. 
Oh. And so make sure that I am always on top of my little Google calendar here. I write down everything that's due, all my tests, everything that's gonna happen. But I also keep reminders on my Google calendar so it comes up on all my devices that I have to do this at this time. Yeah. Stuff like that. Sure. So pretty cool. Okay. What I have is like a color code on the side of my Google Calendar with all these colors. So this is like my birthdays, whatever, all this, like meeting up with friends. And then I have something for work so I can just decide to put it up. Um, one thing I recommend for every, every college student to do is to, once you go on your syllabus, you have, you have an idea of who your professors are and everything, you can put your calendar for and all your office hours into your Google Calendar and you can just decide to turn it on or whatever. So, for instance, I 9.30, I have uh, with Dr. Moore, I'm gonna turn on, I wanna go see her before the exam, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on right here, and then uh, boom, right there. Yeah. Your, your daily reminders, when you should be completing your homework, when to get everything done, because you have XYZ done before, uh, you, you, before I can see my friend, I have to go get everything done first and make sure everything's intact so I don't have to worry about it later and all that kind of stuff. So just stay organized and you have an idea. It's all sophisticated and you're able to get it done throughout the day. And the more you see yourself completing all these tasks and uh, pushing forward and being and being true to yourself on when you're completing these tasks and you're actually doing it, the more you'll, you'll able to have, once again, that self-esteem and uh, more, you're more confident with what you're doing and you're able to know that you can accomplish more things in the future. Having a calendar, have, setting reminders for yourself, um, and if you're like Kaylee, you're smart like Kaylee, you can have all the color coding, <laughs> sure, all that, and being yeah. very, because I think, you know, a lot of us are different learners, like me and Kaylee are probably uh, visual learners, so mm -hmm. colors really uh, catch the eye. Um, a lot of people are big on touch, a lot of people are good on audio, um, or some people just are good at reading stuff and uh, getting that all down. Or maybe you're just one of those rare breeds that have photo photogenic memory and just get everything down. But yeah, that's, that's kind of our advice so far. How would a kinesthetic learner be able to learn? Great. Yeah, that's a great, great one because mm -hmm. uh, kinesthetic learners, usually, obviously, it's based on touch, right? A lot of physicians and uh, practitioners have this way because you know in order to conduct a physical exam you have to like put your hands on the patient and know what, what's kind of going wrong with it like you have okay there's swelling on the arm swelling on the leg and from there you just kind of know you you, you get this like muscle memory and this this whole gist of, and this whole concept of how it's all done so once you felt it before you know what it feels like in the future so you'll be able to identify that and it may indicate for a couple of things that you should be doing and then over time you get all these patterns of, of knowledge and I don't know if this is exactly what it means but I find that I let my hand do all the memorizing and so whenever I'm drawing a bunch of physiological mechanisms and stuff like that my hand remembers what that is so on a test I'll draw out the thing that I drew out um, you know in in practice and stuff on a whiteboard and stuff and I can um, do that that same thing on a test and then and then I ace it oh. I kind of let my hand do all the memorizing but it's the same with here if I'm taking all these notes and stuff but I'm doing it by hand your hand can memorize a lot more than you can I don't know how that happens I guess but it's just straight muscle memory I know it pattern. is it's muscle memory yeah, yeah. I guess yeah. Like one, one big thing with being with being a human is that we were able to identify patterns and we understand this whole concept and that's it, that's just our innate behavior. Yeah. These are so cool. These notes. <laughs> you got color coded like concepts. Oh yeah. And then, like, oh it's drawings. super fun. I love all so. of it. I actually love this kind of stuff. This helps with physiology a lot. Oh no, this is cell biology. And Whereas this is um, everything that happens in your body, cellular transport, uh, cell signaling, nice. um, all that fun stuff. What we mentioned before, like we talked about in my last video with setting all these realistic goals. Like you wanna be able to know that you're gonna ex execute X, Y, Z. Um, for instance, if I tell myself I'm gonna complete all these notes, I'm gonna write all these down and be able to study it the next day, I should know myself and know that I'm gonna, I'm gonna complete that. 
uh, Kaylee follows along these lines of uh, doing this, you know, having the calendar up, getting all these reminders done, and boom, executing them. If they just have to be realistic goals, because if you, if you say that you're gonna fulfill five tasks today, but you know you don't have the time to do it, then it's just gonna lead to burnout later because yep. you keep, you keep doing all this over and over again, and then you keep disappointing yourself, and that's when burnout hits. Goodness. I'm glad that you mentioned burnout because yeah. uh, it's very common, especially these days. You know, having these high expectations for a pre-health student, like you have to. Um, do all this, you have to get the GPA, get the test score, do the hours, do the shadowing, and it just seems so much that you're drinking out of a fire hose and you don't know what to do, you can't even use the straw, and, but minimizing all that and later knowing that building, making these little steps for yourself and knowing that you can achieve it, and I, I'm very big on allowing yourself to know yourself, and once you can complete this one task, you know you can complete the next one. Slow and steady wins the race, right? I'm learning right now is that those tasks, instead of having five a day, do three a day and then do something fun. Watch that show that you've been wanting to watch and relax a little bit so that you feel refreshed the next day to keep going. That's and awesome. that that's yeah, so that I've you don't seen, have to. I've seen like um, those USMLE books, those licensing yes. uh, books. Uh, a lot of medical students, they'll put like a candy bar after every 50 pages mm -hmm. or something just to get through. Like, all right, I can get, eat my Twix. Like, yeah, after just to motivate themselves. So yeah, that, that's like, one of those things, being creative about yourself, knowing what you like, knowing that you should, you deserve to be rewarded with what you do, and that's important because, you know, your time is valuable, you understand what you're doing, and you have a goal for yourself, and you want to know that you're enjoying the process as well. Yeah, completely right. agree. So, for those of you who saw my last video, we discussed in our channel that we're going to um, put together a cooking show, or a cooking, like a cooking, <laughs> cooking, ev cooking nice. event for our members. So we had to give all these ingredients and we're about to send in the flyer, so I'm just gonna go ahead and show uh, Kaylee how to do that. How's your semester going, man? Good, pretty easy. Good. I'm only a freshman, so. Oh, okay. What class did you take in? Jenkins uh, two. Really? Oh, yeah. I, I How's your semester going? Great. You know, I'm uh, taking. So there she goes. Um, we're just gonna stay here for a little bit longer and finish this lab report. So. So I just got done with this assignment. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it in. And there we go. So I just got out of Willis Library. I'm about to, you know what? Feeling a little bit hungry. I've been fasting, and so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start eating. I'll probably look what the union has to offer. We're just gonna grab us a little bit of a snack. I know I'm not too big on eating meals on campus because I like to cook at home. Let's go check it out. We're gonna go through the syndicate. We'll go ahead and reward ourselves for studying. I've been feeling real good. Came a long way from misunderstood. Far away from the days where I wouldn't want to go home because I was afraid of the truth. Chicken Alfredo, please. Everybody go. like a month left into our semester and yeah everybody's taking graduation photos everything um, it keeps me reminded I need to like stay intact that the you know, my graduation day will come okay. that right there that's my boy Peter he uh, works over here on campus and he got his face on there 
there you have it. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, what did you get out of this? Uh, what are a couple of tips that you took away? Um, was this helpful? Um, please let me know, and uh, I'll go ahead and see y'all in the next video. I ain't taking Peace. nothing but wins. Bitch, I just caught me in bins. Then some gon' caught me in yeah, 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 yeah. Bitch, I came up, and I don't know. I don't know where I go tomorrow. Bitch, I came up, and I don't know. I don't know what's gonna come tomorrow.